Hello and welcome on the XSBS channel. On this channel, you will learn about XSBS for IVP software that is an add-on on top of SAP IVP. For those of you using SAP IVP, you're going to discover a lot of features which will really help you in using on a daily basis SAP IVP. First topic, you need to install XSBS for IVP. To do so, it's fairly easy. You have received the package from us with a license number. To install it, you go to Excel. On the Excel, you go to the option. And from the options, you navigate to the add-in. From the add-in, you select Excel add-in and just go. From this point, either you have already loaded your package and you see XSBS IBP add-in, or you need to implement it by browsing where you have saved the file we sent you. And once you have selected it and say, OK, you can verify that XSBS for IBP is implemented because now you have the XSBS for IBP ribbon. Next thing to do now is to enter your license number. To do so, you need to go back to the email you received from us, where you have the license number. It is attached to your email and also your computer number. If you have several computers, just ask us additional license number with the relevant computer number. For the time being, let me cut and paste the current license. Control C, return to XSBS, and here, from the XSBS ribbon, open the XSBS license enter and just paste your license number. And now your instance is valid and can start working with XSBS for IBP. We are now ready to use XSBS for IBP, so let's go back to the email we sent you, the license email. In there, there is a template which you need to use the first time to activate the XSBS capabilities. Let me save it. I can now start using XSBS. So for that, I just open it. This XSBS generic from the temp. And here it is. And we see that we have the XSBS ribbon available. This XSBS is organized in groups, one for the IBP command themselves, one for the graphic management, like here, one for the custom, your own macro and some further functional macro. One for the analysis that you can carry over any type of data displayed from IBP. Then the navigation, navigating through the planning object and so on. Then we'll see also the log features and also the settings, the IBP, XSBS IBP settings and also the helps. First, the IBP comments. That's just to avoid you navigating and flying from SAP IBP standard ribbon and back here. It's, for instance, if I want to connect, I connect to this planning area and the system connects directly into IBP. Now, from this time, I am now connected to IBP and I can also say, please refresh data. And the system tells me, do you want to refresh? Yes. And data get refreshed, refreshed from IVP already by using this XSBS IVP command. Next topic, and there will be further episodes to describe the very detail of each of those groups here. It's about graphics. You can manage by these groups, the slicer, the graphics, and some further elements with the, for instance, the layout. You see colors here. This is managed by the this group here and the capture button exactly. Then we have the custom. The custom is for you an, an opportunity to create your own macro. Then you have the data analysis. Whatever data you display from IBP, you can, you can perform some local analysis, data analysis, out of ABC, XYZ, trend, seasonal, sporadicity, and life cycle analysis. There will be also episode to describe that in more detail. But let's say, for instance, here, I wish to do an analysis on actual quantity and I wish to do an ABC analysis. For that, I need to do some settings first to, to tell the system, to tell XSBS which key figure is to be analyzed, what are my thresholds for A, B, C, D, whatever class, which is here. You see those kind of parameters. Let's not focus yet. 
calculate the analysis. Then you have the navigation. Navigation is a, is a smart way to navigate through the different planning objects that we have here, for instance, product location combination. And sometimes you may have a lot of key figures and navigating through plots together from one product to another product in a location, for instance, it's quite cumbersome in the standard because it goes by the key figure and you lose track of where you are, where is the block of your planning object. So that you can use this plot navigation. Then you have log, log options. The log options are either the mini log, like you can see here. The mini log tells you what you have done recently, what macros you have triggered, what error message you received from the systems. Okay, but you can also have a bigger log in terms of calculation content and so on. We'll see that later in another episode. And also the smart notes to easily focus, filter, cut and paste data from IBP. Then you have the settings. There is planning view settings. There is master data settings. There is the help settings. There is also the rule management settings and the XSBS license input. And the, and the last section is about helps, helping you by the detail of a field, like what is this field made for location from the attribute value. So what is this location one information? Then from the screen itself, what are you supposed to do in this screen? And then the help on help, meaning how do you manage helps? Because this help is also a configuration element that you can extend to further assist your end users. Then you have the guide me through. So the guide me through is bringing you through the different steps, through the different screens of XSBS for RBP and explains you what to do. And finally, the about, the about box in order to know which version you are of XSBS for RBP and the access to the, to our website. Next, let's use also XSBS for RBP with advanced feature. What do I mean? As per standard, you are using the generic template, but you can also use the additional templates, which I mentioned already. And let me go here, for instance, to the planning template. This one planning template, as you can see, comes with an additional group of buttons, which helps you create generating planning runs, local planning runs by uh, using dynamic methods, local heuristics, very fast, much faster than the IBP one the shelf life heuristics, reorder point, and so on. And as well, to see some KPIs and this being controlled by a, a typical setting. So this is encapsulated, embedded into additional templates. Let me also uh, show you the daemon planning extension. Yeah, daemon planning, here it is. Here it is. So in this one, daemon planning template, which we can propose you, you have in the XSBS now an additional demand group, which controls possibly the corrections, the outlier and missing value correction locally, or can also trigger local forecast XSBS algorithm, not IBP algorithms, local ones, to complement the IBP proposition, for instance. So that was to mention the additional capabilities you can have with XSBS. Last but not least for this episode, be aware that with XSBS for IBP, you can even develop your own macro, your own extension, business extension. To do so, we are providing you the technical framework in XSBS so that you can easily develop those macro. You don't need to be a very skilled developer. It can be done easily because we have prepared all the data manipulation within this VBA coding attached to Excel. And by means of that, you can create your own macro, like you can see here. We've got here three placeholders for macro, but you can have as many as you like. We will see that in a, in a future episode, how to develop your own macro within an XSBS for IBP template. I hope you like this episode. Think of a click on the like button and on the subscription. I would be very happy for that. See you in next episode. Bye now.